Calc 12C Plus is an iPhone application that duplicates the functionality of HP's venerable HP 12C financial calculator. It includes all the same keys as the original HP 12, so you can use the keystrokes that you've already learned for computing your financial calculations. For instance, if you want to compute a 30-year loan with monthly payments, you can enter 30, multiply that by 12. The nice thing about an iPhone, though, is that we're not limited to the physical keyboard like the original calculator. We can show additional information. So, for instance, we just entered 360 periods for the financial calculation, and it shows immediately above the end key that we have 360 set for N. Let's say we have 6.5% interest. Again, we're making monthly payments, so let's divide that by 12. And say we're uh, going to borrow $250,000. Hit the present value key here. We can uh, check the keyboard here and see that payments are going to be made at the end because we have the little green LED next to the end. If you want to make payments at the beginning of each month, you can click Begin, and the little green LED shows that we've gone to the uh, begin or end mode here. So let's compute our payment. We'll click on the payment key and there's the result. The last key that you touched is always displayed in the upper corner here so you can at a glance make sure you've done the correct computation. You can also review the uh, electronic audit tape just by clicking on the tape button here. We don't need an on off key which was uh, what the original HP 12 had there and so we have the tape function. The tape uh, shows the, each of the keystrokes and the results of each of the computations. You can mail that by clicking on the mail button. This uses the iPhone's uh, mail program to send the mail. You can send it to yourself or send it to a client. Uh, we'll cancel here. You can clear the tape by uh, clicking on the clear button. And when you're done looking at the tape, click on the done button. The calculator also includes a set of worksheets that uh, encapsulate the, uh, how you would perform various different calculations for real estate, uh, financial, and statistics. But for instance, if we wanted to go back and take a look at that loan amortization, uh, we can click on the loan amortization worksheet. Each worksheet has uh, an info button, so you can click on anywhere in the top bar area here. And it'll pull up the user notes on how to use that uh, worksheet so you can read through and take a look at what each of the fields are for. It has examples of how to do the calculation. When you're done looking at the user notes, click on the done button there. But you know, we want to uh, enter 6.5% interest. We're going to make 12 payments per year. Uh, for 30 years, we want to have monthly compounding. And we can see that the payment is 1580 The total interest over the, the life of the loan is $318,861. And here's the amortization schedule uh, on a monthly basis. You can select the print function on the, the, calc the keypad here, and it'll automatically print the amortization information to the, uh, the audit tape that we're just looking at. You can click on the index button and it'll take you back to the index of the worksheets. There's 13 worksheets again. Let's say we want to take a look at amortizing just the first 12 periods of that loan. And here we can see the information that was input on the loan. You input the start period, the end period, and then click on the amortize button and it'll compute the, uh, the first 12 months of that loan. You can see the principal payments would have been $2,794. $16,000 in interest was paid. At the end of the 12 months, you have $247,205 uh, remaining as a balance. In addition to the worksheets and the guide, we have uh, uh, functions for controlling the settings of the, the keyboard. Uh, we can turn on and off the Key click sounds, for instance, if you're in a work environment where the key click sounds would not be appropriate, you can turn off the, the sound of the key clicks. Uh, you can change a variety of other uh, uh, settings for the calculator. And then there's also a uh, uh, update button here that allows you to update the currency rates. The calculator keeps track of 
47 world currencies. Uh, the information is downloaded from the International Monetary Fund website. Uh, you can update that whenever you want to. To do a currency conversion, select the convert function, which is on the plus key here. And it brings up this converter uh, window that allows you to select between different uh, currencies. So for instance, if we want to convert from euros into US dollars, say well, what's 100 euros convert into dollars, you'll click on the arrow that's going the direction that you want the conversion to occur. So if we want to go from euros to US dollars, you click on the key that's pointing towards US dollars. And again, the, the last conversion is shown in the upper corner here. You can see 100 euros is now 143.37 US dollars. If you had, say, you're about to purchase a, a lot that's a half acre and you want to know how many square feet that is, you can go to the area conversion section of the, the converter application, select acre and square feet, and put in half an acre, and we want to know how many square feet that is. Click on the arrow, and there we can see we have 21,780 square feet to a half acre. When you're done doing the conversions, just click on the X button there and it makes it go away. The calculator also includes a set of scientific functions. If you're in school and taking a physics or chemistry class or an engineering class, uh, all the, all the uh, engineering calculations are available. We have the trig functions, the log functions, a uh, variety of, of functions that you would find on a scientific calculator all available here. The calculator is also programmable, just like it is with the, the original 12C. You can, you can write programs and run them. But in addition to being able to see the program one line at a time, like you do with the original HP calculator, you can take a look at the program editor, which displays your program in a, a nice, easy to see scrolling list here. And you can you can uh, edit the program or you can run the program from the program editor and see the results uh, like you can single step through the program one step at a time. In addition you can create your own custom worksheets. There's a worksheet editor that allows you to edit and move around uh, fields and, and create your own worksheets. So you're not limited to the 13 worksheets that, are, that come pre-supplied with the calculator. You can create your own for problems that uh, you do on a daily basis, you can automate all this information. There's another video that shows how the the uh, programming and worksheets, custom worksheets, work. So that, in a nutshell, is uh, the Calc 12C Plus. It has all the functions of the original uh, HP 12C calculator, and then a whole bunch more. All because uh, the iPhone is a very powerful calculator in its own right. This program is available on the App Store, iTunes, and uh, it's $5.99.